Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwander and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Dave Curlin. He is the founder and CEO of Curlin Associates. Welcome, Dave. Thank you, Gerhard. It's kind of like deja vu. I feel like we've done this before. Yeah, we, we have done a number of videos and uh, what I'd like you to, to co-create with me here is help me understand the essence of coaching. Good sales coaches have the unique ability to help a salesperson understand exactly when the wheels came off, why the wheels came off, what that salesperson might have done that caused the wheels to fly off, what they could have done differently through role play, not you should have done this, but let's play it out and hear how this conversation right. could have, should have changed. Okay. And and then help that salesperson dig themselves out of the hole they got into and right. hopefully resurrect the deal gone south. Okay, let's do a role play. I'm the sales rep and um, you give me an objection. Um, I have to think it over. Go ahead. So um, I, I love what you told me today. I, I think it's a great idea. Um, I need to run it by my three partners and uh, see what they think see if they're willing to spend the money and uh, I'm gonna meet with them on Wednesday next week and I can get back to you on Thursday. Well thank you Dave for uh, bringing this up to your three partners and uh, I look forward to uh, a positive response. Uh, so shall we talk on on Friday? Sure. All right tell me I'm the sales rep I don't know any better um, so you're all excited. You've yeah. got this opportunity, right? Right. Great new opportunity. I'm going to close it on Friday. Exactly. Exactly. And it has an 80% chance of closing. Yeah. And the, <laughs> and the big mistake that sales managers make is they, they ask the wrong question to start off. They ask, how did the call go? And the, the rep says it was great. I've got an opportunity. It's $40,000 and I'm going to close it on Friday. And what does that leave the sales manager with? Great. Uh, so instead, the sales manager needs to ask the right question to get the coaching call going the right way. And the right question is, so Gerhard, how'd the call end? Uh, Dave, we agreed that we are going to talk on Friday and uh, hopefully by Friday um, I get a decision. Okay, so that's a next step, but how'd yeah. the call end? Um, the call ended with, uh, the, you know, with, with the realization that Dave really has to talk with three partners and this is something that I cannot control. Of course not. Uh, and when did you find out about the three partners? Um, right at the end when uh, he told me that uh, he needs to discuss it. Okay, so uh, in your previous meeting, right. when, when you asked who else cared about this, right. Um, yeah, uh, Dave mentioned that, uh, gave me a little overview of, uh, you know, his uh, organization, but um, I was surprised to hear that uh, he needs to discuss it with three other people because when we started out the conversation, he says he's the decision maker because I asked him specifically, Dave, are you the decision maker? That's not unusual, Gerhardt, and a lot of salespeople ask that question, but promise me that you won't ask that question ever again. Why? Okay, Nobody wants to admit that they need help. I got it. Somebody else is going to get right. involved. So I'd like you to start asking, once you've identified the real problem, and once you've got it quantified, and, and we know there's value there and it's important, at that point I'd like you to start asking, who else cares about this? And then you'll hear about, in this case, the three partners. And that's the time where you can say, so how do we get them included in our conversation? so I can get their opinion. Because otherwise you're gonna find yourself in a situation like this where you get to what you think is a closing opportunity and you end up getting a put off because they need to think about it and they need to discuss it with others, which we could have uncovered earlier, we could have gotten them involved earlier, and this most recent call could have been a conversation with your contact and the three partners all together. So should I ask a question like, um, uh, Dave, uh, I know that this is an important decision. Uh, who other than yourself uh, might be involved in that decision? Sure, you could ask that 
question, but you might find yourself right back where you were. Okay. Because in the end you made it about decision making, right. not about caring. Got so it. when you ask who else cares, they, they feel comfortable talking about the partners. Right, right. Because people have an opinion, they care. When you ask them Great. about decision making, they're going to get defensive and territorial and go, that's me. Got it. But of course, they're going to need help. Everybody needs help. Making that one right. change could have a huge difference on your success qualifying and your ability to make a closing opportunity a true closing opportunity. So once I know who else cares about making this decision, um, what, what, do, what do I get in return? What, what do I do next? So let's say I know this early on that there are three decision makers. How can I do better on the next call? So once you find out that there are these partners or these other leaders that care, you can ask to include them in the conversation. So it's not, I want to meet them, and it's not, uh, can you arrange for a joint call, and it's not, uh, can I get access to them, it's like, how do we include them in our conversation? And leave it open. It valuable, you make it meaningful, you make it non-threatening, and you make it so that your contact wants to include them, right. so that we're not all wasting time. How do you teach sales managers to model uh, that behavior with their salespeople. One of the things we do at Curlin and Associates is we, we bring sales managers in for a sales leadership intensive. We spent two days just on this and for part of those two days we play real recorded coaching conversations. So they get to listen to all kinds of various coaching calls in various stages of the sales process with various challenges and they learn how to uncover the, the real reason that they didn't get the outcomes they wanted and the right ways to get to it and the ways to get the salespeople to understand and commit to change and then we discuss those conversations so that by the end of the two days they can go back and do it themselves. It seems like there are three steps. One is uh, you raise the awareness level Second, do you give them the insight that they need in order to realize that there are alternatives? And then the third step is changing. Those are three good steps. Yeah. Uh, there should be a commitment in there, too. How much does it cost to, uh, to attend one of your workshops? Uh, there are $1,500. I think it's a great investment for anybody who wants to get more information. Go to curlinassociates.com. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Gerhard. It was a pleasure talking with you.